Me Tom here. Can you dig it? Another episode of YouTube RC. Going to do the unboxing of a new airplane called the Global Hawk. And going to get it built for you right here. And going to get some flight, maiden flight video. So here we go. Here it is. Hey, wait. That's a super sniper. Uh-oh. Oh, well, might as well give you the unboxing of this while I'm here. Another video is going to be coming up. So here it is, guys. Here goes the super sniper. Pretty cool. Going to be a 90 millimeter EDF. Got the wings. Fly like a bird. Anyway, you know how much I love to do unboxing and build videos. I don't. So, uh, anyways, here goes the uh, elevator. Elevator. You gotta hinge everything yourself. That's about it in there. Gonna do a, a global haul. How about that? All right, guys. I got the global hall. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Just kidding with all that other stuff. Here it is, the global hall, guys. Let me take off the, the costume. I know you like the hair and all, but anyways, here it is, guys. Global hall from Hobby King. Um, Got like a six foot wingspan, I know you can't see it. Pretty long. Look at that. Anyway, I had to modify like everything on this airplane to get going. Sorry I didn't get the unboxing or the build video, but I will give you a demo of a few things that I've done. Got a magnet on the canopy. You can see that. It's got a alright, let's start with the wings. First of all, the wings, it was very difficult to get the wing joiners onto the wings and glue them on there. And to remove a lot of foam, I had to uh, drill out these holes right here in order to fit the wing spar all the way in here. I had to cut off the carbon fiber, it was too long here. I had to enlarge the channel for the servo cavity to fit the servos in there. I had a cut and hinge on my uh, aileron servo, ailerons and the elevator. Um, had to cut and hinge those in as well. The little channel for the, um, you know, the, the servo wires was not deep enough. I had to enlarge those as well. So there, there was an extensive amount of work done on this airplane. These had to be sanded to fit in properly into the, uh, the fuselage. I did have to open up the EDF uh, inlet, had to open it up a lot, same with the exhaust tube, had to enlarge that as well, smooth it out for smooth airflow. I do have the XS, XF fan in there from the F-16, um, phase 3 F-16, and it puts out about 356 watts and it does a, a good job at flying this airplane. Once again, I had to cut out this area in the foam to fit the, uh, the piece that came with the kit, this uh, shroud that covers the fan. It is removable, which I do like. I had to really just finesse it to get it in. I did add air scoop right here for air cooling for the Castle 56 ESC that I'm running in there. Um, on the bottom, I did have to relocate the mains. This was the existing um, place positioned for the main landing gears. I had to move those back, install those back there. I did add a steerable nose wheel because it came with a fixed nose wheel. So, a lot of work was done to this airplane just to get it up in the air. Um, you can see here, this is my removable battery tray. I just added a piece of foam here, two pieces of Velcro so I could still access my tail wheel, uh, tail, tail nose gear steering there. So this is removable. So that gets Velcroed into there. 
like that, and then I just Velcro this, Velcro the battery in there. That's about it. There was a lot of work done to this airplane to get it to fly. Um, it does fly pretty good, as you will see in the flight video at the field. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, video guys, and uh, I'll see you at the field, all right? And uh, stay tuned for that Super Sniper also coming your way, a 90 millimeter EDF. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. How many Starbucks cups do you have? What? No, that's gotta be edited out. <laughs> <laughs> How many airplanes do you have? Not too many. No? You have a lot, silly. <laughs> this is the man cave. Yeah, that's right. He's got airplanes in his bathroom. Yeah. Airplanes. Well, well, this video is going to run too long, but this is the uh, bike that Ray gave me. My buddy Ray gave me a plane too. And this is going to be the ultimate biplane. It was a servo. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's the ultimate. That's coming up too, guys, so stay tuned for that one too. That's about it for the uh, demo video. You know how much I love doing the out-of-the-box videos, but the Super Sniper is coming too. So that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, bye.